jump on me why do you think you can do that what is up guys and welcome back to the roddy channel today we are celebrating 20,000 subscribers on youtube and sam is back to join us from the islands of hawaii kida kenai and fluffy are also here to join us junior will not be joining us as he is not old enough to leave lexi yet but uh we're just gonna have a little family barbecue and mama's all muddy kenai's all muddy fluffy's all muddy because it rained here in the beautiful state of utah and then cleared up a little bit later in the day yeah, it's, cold. <laughs> it's really cold it is cold, especially, you said it was like 70 degrees in the morning? Yeah, at 7 o'clock it was like 75. So this is weird. Time change is really weird. I wonder if, if you can't hear me at any point in this stream, let me know. Yeah, talk louder, because I'm always loud and you're always quiet. I think if you put your hand over the mic, then it quiets it down a little bit. Like if you hold it on this side, because the mic's down here. That's how I usually hold it. I know, I'm saying I think that that makes oh, me quieter. And then it, it echoes your voice, you know? Makes sense. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and throw on my special edition Roddy sweater. People are so offended by it. Oh. Hello. <clears throat> Iowa, Nebraska. What's the weather like? I love the warm. Oregon, it's cold up there. One time I went to Oregon and I thought it was summer. Don't. And it was summer, but it was cold. Stay down. You gotta stay down. Don't jump. Especially on my gray sweater, man. I just got this thing because it reminds me of you. Look how cute he is. The amount of people that were triggered when we said this on the channel is kind of unrealistic. Like, talk louder. Talk louder? <laughs> people were so rude when I tried to make a funny joke and then everyone in the world got offended. So if you got offended, I'm not really sorry, but I'm sorry at the same time. And I won't say it this time, I'll just let you read it. <laughs> How about that? My trip was good and so much fun. I mean, I miss this one and these ones and my Mostly chickens. <laughs> I think this one missed me. <laughs> Mostly this one. But yeah, I miss Sam. The dogs did too. The reason why it seems like I missed her more than everybody else is because I had to tell her that we missed them. <laughs> so it was extra, crazy. extra. <laughs> yeah, we had to give a little bit of extra missing. But um, yes, so huge shout out to you guys, the subscribers, the supporters of the channel. Thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. Sam sent me a screenshot. I think it was November 12th. Yeah. November 12th, we hit 1,000 subscribers. We were at 999. 999 on November 12th. I think later that night we hit a thousand and that was literally six months ago. Like, That's so crazy. I cannot, I never thought, I mean, I knew that we would be here, but I didn't think it would be in that short of time. Um, so again, thank you guys for always smashing the like button, always commenting on the video, sharing, um, you know, following us on Instagram, following us on Facebook, buying merchandise. And really just enjoying life with three Rottweilers, now four Rottweilers. Yeah, we got four babies. So thank you for joining our little family on this super cool adventure. When I first started out YouTubing about a year and a half ago, I never expected that I was going to be running the Roddy channel and, and have the Roddy Ranch. Like that was just like my daily normal life, you know, being a dog dad. And, and now look where we are like we have i think we have like 70 videos posted online um 20, subscribers i think last p month last period 28 days i think we had 550,000 views and 4.4 million minutes watched so again thank you guys for uh for supporting the channel sam and i and, and our roddy family so that's really all i have on the on the 20k subscriber thing i'm sure you know we'll bring it up again and it's so cool say thank you it is it's, it's really just incredible but we have a few things to celebrate Twenty thousand subscribers should we start off with the bling um we'll yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay yes so, sherry i flew in today so little jet yeah, lags <laughs> this, this morning actually i was on a work phone call and i turn around and sam's standing in the backyard i'm like oh. <laughs> i'm like made phone call with uh with with some doing some business and she walks up and like, I can't just hang up. I'm in the middle of a conversation. All I wanted to do is just run over and hug her. But yep, she came in this morning. Thank heaven. She <laughs> okay. Lexi Lou, she is three and a half. She was born. Well, she'll be four in October. Yep. 
October 16th or 17th? I think it was 16th. It was the 16th or the 17th was her birthday. Yes, but, that video of Junior and Diesel are so cute. What are you barking at? The one where he falls over in the milk. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. cute. Well, the funny thing is, when he posted that video, I think he put a caption on it about being... Like, milk drunk. Yeah, like milk drunk is a thing or something. And it's funny because he's eating his milk, gets up on the ledge... And then he falls over and back into the milk. And I think I think that was just... Oh Anthony said just 80k more. Hey, that's our goal this year. Our goal, yes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a puppy still. Like, he... Puppy, look, bro. Listen, listen. I need you to understand. I literally just washed this sweater. For this video. <laughs> I, I, think, I think he was coming over to sign the sweater. I think that's Maybe his, we should give it away. <laughs> I think that's his autograph. This is the only one of this that I had made. The I know. only one. I did have a request uh, from one other person to make one. But, however, let's celebrate. Fluffy is the first one. Fluffy is going to be the first one to get his bling. So, check this out. We did get some fresh new gold collars and... I ordered the wrong size in the diamond one. The diamond one was going to be Kita's. And I ordered some, like, diamond and gold letters that have K, K, and the F. And then, yes, of course, we'll have to get little Junior one. But Oh, my said, God. Could you imagine Junior's? It would be, like, yeah, <laughs> so, so small. So, Fluffy's is a 24 to 26, 24 to 26 inch neck. Kenai and Kita have 20 to 22 inch necks. So, I ordered the wrong size, because this one's bedazzled. This one was supposed to be Kita's. Like, she's the queen of the house, next to Sam, of course. So, gonna bedazzle Fluffy up instead of Kita. You get this one. You get this one. Um. Oh, my goodness. Check that out. <laughs> that is awesome. Sherry asked what you always drink in that cup. And then, um, Rosie... Um, the, when we do lives, we do them off our phone, so the quality might not be as good, but somebody else said they can see everything fine, so I don't know. I don't know. Is the Wi-Fi on? I don't know. Do we need to check? Let me see real quick. Oh, I want Hold on, wait one second. We're checking. Anyway, uh, these collars are actually pretty cool. They're not the heaviest duty thing, so this is going to be more for, like, Looks. if we're going to make videos or... You know, we're going to have people over and we just want to show off how beautiful they are. Spice them up a little bit. But I don't think these would be strong enough to take on a walk. And we'll still definitely use our chain collars. If you guys haven't seen that video, we have a video on how to make the collars. And I think we did it for, what was it, $5 a dog? Yeah, six, it was cheap. Or $6. It's really cheap. You Anybody can do it. I show a full house. And this one can't break up. And Fluffy can't He has not break broken it yet. But, yeah, I don't know. He's... He might test us after that, but the only thing that's a pain about these is getting off this plastic wrap. They definitely, they definitely secure this thing up so it doesn't get all scratched up and whatnot in the package. It is 7.09 p.m. Um, 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 where do we get these collars from? These collars, after the video, I'll go ahead and I'll drop the link down in the description to everything that we're using. So check back. Give me 24 hours on it because Sam did just get home. Um, and uh, after the dog video, we are going to have our own little kind of date night. And we're going to barbecue up our own food as well as the dog food. So usually we do raw. We're going to cook them just a little bit tonight because we're going to do something a little different. I think it's going to be kind of cool. So definitely stick around for that. But I will drop all the links to this stuff tomorrow or late, late tonight. Um, okay, so how do you go about, um, do you measure your, so somebody said what size, but it depends on your dog. So Fluffy yeah. wears bigger than Kenai and Mama. Yep. And so go ahead and measure your dog's neck. Is that how you did? Yep. The yeah, best way okay. to do it is with like a, uh, what do they call it? Like a fabric uh, measuring tape, one that you can yeah. wrap around. Mm -hmm. So like, just like you would measure, you know, straight like this, you would pretty much measure what does this look like in, in what is it, diameter? In diameter so you want to measure and make sure that you're getting what's suited for your own dog but they do have this little metal clip on here and you kind of just pop it in there and then you have to pinch both sides evenly to get it off they're so, so cute fluffy's is bedazzled should have been kita's but kenai you want one fluffy's the rock star Go ahead and aloha i literally just barely flew in from hawaii <laughs> today 
wow. so yeah no i'm used to it was what so it was four hours behind from where i am now so the time change is kicking my butt how many callers have we been through with fluffy i'll tell you a story can i tell the story yep. No. Um, so the first time that, right when me and Colin first started dating, we were at the sand dunes and we took Fluffy. It was only Fluffy. We just took it was only Fluffy. And he had a one inch leather collar on and there was a pit bull around our camp. And when he's on his leash, he gets very territorial, but he's not like upset. Like if he can get to something, he's fine. But when we can't, he gets mad. So all of a sudden I feel the whole trailer like yank. He was tied up outside. Yeah, and the trailer like yanked, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And so Fluffy, he broke through a one-inch leather collar. Yeah. But after he got to the, it was a pit bull that was in our camp. And he it, was totally fine. And it was actually our friend's pit bull. Yeah, I was like, "Oh my god!" My heart dropped, babe. And later that night, uh, what's his name? Group. Yeah. The pit bull Group. was actually in the camper hanging out with Fluffy, and they played around for a good little while. I actually have a YouTube video that shows that trip um, on my personal channel. Yeah. So if you guys haven't seen my personal channel, I do. Uh, oh, I do kind of just a lot of fun stuff. Mama. Look at how beautiful she looks. It looks so pretty. Bling. And they do actually make matching collars that go with these. Or no, um. Leashes. Leashes. They do make matching leashes. Sorry. Yeah. No, Lexi had one, right? Yep. Yeah. So if you, I don't know what video it is, but a few Lexi videos back. Lexi Rottweiler home up. So like the second one? Number two. Three. Because we brought her home. And puppy. For in first introduction to puppy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three was first introduction to puppy. Four was one month old puppy. Month so, yeah. Uh, Rescue Rottweiler's new home update, episode two, shows Lexi's gold chain, which is actually where I got the idea. Huge shout out to Hayden for giving this the idea to kind of bedazzle up the dog. So, Kina, come here. Let me get you one. Get these two are like me. You, you guys already have one? yours on. You double one? No, 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 no doubles. No I'm doubles. happy to be home too, but I wish Kina? the weather was warmer. How about Kina? So, um, on buying these collars, they're on Amazon. We'll link everything below after. Kina's is a little droopy. So Kina has a 20 inch neck. He does a 22 inch neck, and Fluffy's about 25 inch. I mean, even the 20. Even the 26 is still a little tight on him. Like, it, if that doesn't... <laughs> Listen, man. We're going to have problems if you keep jumping on me without permission. He's like, I don't care, Dad. Yeah, care. it rained I, here I, I, and I, snowed here pretty hard. And so they are uh, muddy, muddy. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, congrats on 20K. Thank congrats you. On congrats on 20K. Uh. It always freaks me out <laughs> flying over the ocean for that long. Like I've flown my whole life, but that part scares me. <laughs> All right. Now that we have our bling on, um, they haven't had a bath in like a month. So we took... Well, it's been pointless because it's been so muddy. Yep. We took off. The weather was really warm. The dogs are clean. And then we come back. And then it's raining a couple days. And then Sam leaves. So really, we've just been super busy. But then Sam comes back, and it's muddy. Right? <laughs> Even if we would give them a bath tonight, they're going to come out here tomorrow and get muddy. I think it's supposed to warm up later this week, so. Yep, it's supposed to warm up a little bit. But uh, that is their water in the summer. We kind of just let that fall. And they spend a little more time outside in the summer because it's warmer. <coughs> you guys are super. <laughs> Why are you jumping on me, bro? Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Don't jump without permission. Okay, up, up, up. They need a bath before we put those collars on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're still definitely a puppy. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we have any other questions? So yeah, I'll, I'll link everything that we have down in the comments below. Should I do the box next? Yeah. Does each dog get a steak? Yes. 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 Each yes. Each dog is getting a steak. How much did we spend on steaks? Eleven dollars a pound. Yeah. Oh. oh, we're going to trigger some people. Somebody commented, should I tell them this story or no? no? I don't care. Somebody was mad that we feed our dogs the way we do. Yeah. Some people get really upset hearing that we feed our dogs, let's say, a special way. Okay? What I want to say is in no way am I responsible for people who live halfway across the world that don't get to eat that has nothing to do with the way that i feed my dogs like 
me not feeding my dogs a gourmet, healthy, raw food diet is not going to make somebody else eat. These guys have supported us. They've brought in all sorts of happiness. They bring in unconditional love. They bring in revenue to the house. They bring in advertisements um, on the channel. They bring in all sorts of donations for themselves. And we give that 100% back to the dogs. So the money that they make, we file right back into them. Like we just spent $40 on steaks for these guys to celebrate 20K subscribers, right? We also just got sponsored by BarkBox, which is huge for us because I remember looking into BarkBox thinking like a couple years ago when it first came out and it was like $35, $40 for a monthly box for the dog. And at the time I had four or five dogs and I, I just remember thinking like, there's no way I could afford this. Working as much as I did, um, you know, back in back in the day, I wasn't near as good off a place as I was. I've worked really hard to get here. Um, we both have, Sam and I work really hard. And the thing is, is I thought I wasn't gonna be able to afford that life for my dogs, right? We lived in, I lived in a trailer with the dogs and I had little fencing set up out front and they didn't have anything like they have now. They didn't have the ranch. Like, I work so hard to give my dogs the things that they have, the life that they have, and it's not just me. Sam gives them a great life too. My friends, all my family, we have a huge support system, but these guys get taken care of like royalty because I've not been able to take care of them like royalty for their whole lives. It's time to spoil them with the money that they bring into the channel. We take them camping, we take them out on the ranch, we're getting them, we're, we're pretty much building, we're gonna start planting our own vegetables. We're pretty much gonna build everything right here so that we can support the dogs, we can support us. Um, there was a video the other day that Sam tagged me in and this, this girl actually out of Salt Lake, she came in and up to the camera and she goes, Four and a half years ago, I brought my dog home and he's waited for me from nine to five every day for four and a half years. And she said, that's over 7,000 hours of my dog waiting for me to get home. And she got really emotional. I got emotional. I, I, that video really screwed me up all day. <laughs> and then it's cool because the way that she finishes the video, she says, Today I get to go tell my dog that I don't have to go to work anymore. And one of the hashtags was new chapter in life. Another one was no more nine to five. My ultimate goal is like to be a stay at home dad where I can legit be with my dogs all the time. Where I can be home every time Sam comes home. Come here, come. Every time that Sam comes home, I want to, is your, finger blocking the camera no, no. okay um every time that i that's actually our roommate's dog yes it is that's it's actually our roommate's dog so no problem there the dogs are just letting us know that there's a dog here and I kind of pull right back but anyway um yeah my ultimate goal is to be home for sam every day to be attentive to sam to the family uh four dogs now instead of three i want 100 percent to be the life that my dogs deserve and the life that Sam deserves. So that is what we're working for 100%. Now that kind of goes off my tangent of don't be triggered what we feed our dogs. It doesn't really help stop world hunger. Yeah. Okay. So Sounds anyway, good. do we have any questions with that? Um, some uh, CW said, take care of them how you want. Those dogs are well taken care of and treated good. That's all that matters. And there are children, literally. Yep, they it are. is like our children. Like, they are our children. Um, are you going to do a video of all the puppy, all the puppy training videos? Oh, you just wait. Yeah, We're so puppies. excited. We hired somebody yep. to help us film. Yep. So that's another exciting. Oh my gosh, we do a lot of so we do a lot of cool stuff. We have a dope we, life. We do. We we work really hard, but we are very blessed to have the life that we have. Um, so to what Sam said, we did just hire someone to come film Sam and I. Um, we offered a. A good deal he's moving out from Green Bay I've shot with him before he used to actually live here in the valley and he was a photographer of mine who wanted to get into videoing and the biggest reason why we, we chose to go with him and hire him as a cameraman is uh, everything to him is meticulous everything if he does it it has to be perfect there's no corners cut if something's not perfect he won't release it 
Um, I've spent literally days filming with him on projects that we never even posted because we just didn't agree that they were good enough. Uh, Sam's been in the room while we'll sit there and edit, and for four <laughs> hours we don't get anything done. We come back and we can create a dope video. So super exciting news. Comes out Monday. So he flies, or I don't know if he's flying or shipping or whatever. He'll be here Monday. He'll be here Monday. So I'll have more content coming to the Roddy channel. I'll have more content coming to my personal channel. And I'll have more content coming to every page because we're going to be able to produce. Like it's way easier when I have Sam to help me film. It's way easier if somebody... <laughs> I saw your video the other day and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, like, like food training. I'm, I'm like, I didn't set anything up. I kind of just woke up. I'm like, okay, people, I, I went through the comments. I'm like, a lot of people are asking this. I'm just about to feed them. We might as well go ahead and bring everybody along. I'm like trying to set up the... I'm like, I'm like on the ground trying to set up the right proper mm. angles. The phone's like falling over. So it's way easier when Sam helps me and she can hold the camera because then I don't lose a hand. I don't have to worry about the camera being held. I don't have to worry about being in the shot because Sam can see that and can help out. So when Sam and I get to be on this side of the camera and we have a cameraman, it's going to be just incredible. Uh, we're, we're really just going to be able to catch a lot more, a lot oh, more sorry. footage. And we're going to be able to bring you guys a lot more good content, but also have somebody behind the camera that cares about the quality, cares about the audio quality, the video quality, everything. So anyway, that's super exciting. With that being said, should we go ahead and show them what came in our bark box? Yeah. So we did get the addition of the bark box that is the super chewer edition. So it's four aggressive chewers. And we haven't even opened this box. All I did was scribbled out all our personal information so you guys couldn't see it. You know, you never know. But here we have the food. We'll go over that in just a little bit. I'm gonna yeah, go ahead it's and good move food. This out of the way. We hey, do have hungry. some amazing food coming for the dogs. This is what those little chains came in. <laughs> All right, so we do have a couple of presents here. So we'll just go ahead and get started by opening this. They're so excited. This Super Chewer box. So right here, Bark Box Super Chewer Edition. They ship it straight to your house. They update you the whole entire time. They tell you exactly when it's going to be shipped. They tell you the day it's going to deliver. And ours actually even came a day early. They told us Friday. It came on Thursday, which... Really is not that much of a difference, but it's really nice when you get home to kind of an unexpected surprise. So go ahead and open this thing up. Looks like pups and kisses. That's a big dog. That's That one looks like if you were like twice your size, that would be you. I feel like just, just old and old and saggy. <laughs> they look nothing alike. <laughs> if he was super old no. and big, he would be like that. Oh, droopy He's like, face. Dad. <laughs> huh. Yeah, no, probably not. Oh, what's this? Okay. Life with a super chewer means that sometimes you put up with hurtful stereotypes and weird looks. All Roddy mm -hmm. owners can agree with that. But you know the truth. Your dog's a big, goofy nuzzle monster who looks into your eyes with true love. Let's celebrate your dog's softer side together with the rough, tough playtime that they need with their snoozy, snuggly best. That's actually kind of a cute message. And... 100% relatable. I can't tell you how many times like we'll go on walks with these guys and people are like beeline somewhere and you can definitely tell they're like, nope, I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Walk all the way out and around, whatever it is. But it looks like, so we did get the box and we did add the extra toy. So it comes with two toys, two bags of treats and two chew sticks, I believe. And we added a toy, even though Kita and Kenai aren't really all about the toys. Um, we added the extra toy just so that Look none of the dogs can feel left out. What you think, Holmes? What you think? This for you? All right, here. No, not yet. Not yet. You gotta wait. Let's see. This comes with a. That's kind of cool. It has like little like features about it. Um, oh, this one's. It says dishwasher safe. Mint scent. Mint scent. Hmm. Solid nylon. Chewing can get rough. Sand down this toy if you start to see sharp edges. Like. If. It's, I thought it was rubber. It's not at all. Yep. That's I, hard. I, I thought it was rubber too, but no, it says right here, play it safe, no, a nylon plus rubber. So nylon, sand down any sharp edges that may develop after chewing. Uh, That's kind of cool. Discard any piece of the dog breaks off of this toy. Natural rubber. If your dog breaks off the rubber 
of this toy into smaller pieces. Okay, so I think that this is nylon and this might be like rubber and nylon. What do you think? Yeah? Oh yeah, so this one's a little softer and this one's a little bit more like plastic. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of what this uh, reminds me of is those Nyla bones. If you guys have heard of those, those are a great alternative to not having like, man, you want this toy, dude. Look at this tail. And then right here, it says it comes with a warranty. It says 100% happiness guaranteed. We're hoping you're holding off the perfect toy for your dog. But if something's off, we'll work with you to make it right. They have their contact oh, that's cool. info right there. So that really is cool. Um, <clears throat> and then right here on the back, it just reiterates again, 100% guarantee. So I did have a couple people reach out and say, hey, do these even work? Like, are they really for super chewers? Um, and that right there kind of tells you, you know, they're going to stand behind this toy. And I don't have a knife out here with me. So we're going to rip that off with our hands. Who wants this one? You want this one, Flo? Want this one? Or should I wait to give them all? <clears throat> mm, They're yeah. all kind of the same thing. They all have kind of, looks like this little extra thing on there. It kind of just explains what it is. And the cool thing is, is you can actually take these and it'll show you where you can order them. So if your dog loves one toy over the other, then you can go ahead and order yourself a second one or even two or three more. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, it is kind of cool. And there's like a whole storefront where you can actually buy these toys. It seems like this one has a little soft cover on it. And then inside is kind of like one of these toys. So I'm wondering if this will be good for like Kenai where Kenai likes to rip them open yeah. and see what's inside and then leave them alone. Kenai and Mama, they like chew the squeaky things out of yeah. them and then they don't care about them anymore. My theory is that they don't like while Fluffy walks around the house. Eater, 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 yeah. eater, eater, eater. Squeaks all day. So then they take the toys and chew them up. So this one might be great for Kita or Kenai that like to just rip the toy apart, see what's inside, they leave the rest. Fluffy then like is like, oh, I hatched a new toy. All just ready to go. Look at Are him. No, nope, stay. Nope. You got to stop. You got to work on that. Jumping, man. You got to work on that. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pull this one off. Again, same exact thing that the other one had. Just a little, kind of like a little guidebook to what your toy is and where it comes from. <laughs> and then this one right here, what is this? A heart? Is that a heart? I, don't know, I, th I yeah. think that's a heart right there because then it says... It feels like a Kong. It says love is real. This one does feel exactly like a Kong. It does have holes in it so you can even put like peanut Treats. butter or any type of treat in there. And you can let your dog play with this all day and kind of... Kind of be entertained. This one says features are that it bounces, treat dispensing, dishwasher safe. All of these are dishwasher safe that came in this box. Uh, this one's natural rubber, it says. And supervise your super chewer. 100% happiness guaranteed. I know I love their tails too. Mama, she does it all the time. The little nubs? Yeah, look at Fluffy go nubs. though. <laughs> all right, so now, should we let the subscribers decide? Who gets what? Should we give them to them? Who gets what? We've got the heart. We've got the... Oh, it's an X. This, okay. I oh, get it. I get it. oh I it's get like it. a love box. Puffs and kisses. It's a love box. So, <laughs> so I, yeah. XO, I'm heart. XO on that one. I'm assuming that this has to do something with love or around Valentine's Day. Like, I don't know. Romantic Elizabeth box. said heart for mama. Heart for mama. Mama, come here. Somebody called it out. You get this one. Come here. Nope, Fluff, dude. He is being naughty lately. Why are you jumping on me? Please don't do that. Thank you. Kita, come here. You got this one. Fluff, stay. Oh, you're going to let Fluff take it? Fluff, give me that one back. Give me that one back. Good boy. Yeah, it kind of does. Look, we have a Kong toy actually right here. It really kind of just is like the same exact style. Yeah, they style. feel the same. Yeah, same exact style, but this one's in a heart. heart XO for Fluff. Here's this. XO for Fluff. That's cute. It's like hugs and kisses. Fluff. Fluff. You need some oh, hugs he's and going kisses? after Mama. You need some sit. Stay. You stay. Nope. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Nope. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Go get it. It goes straight into the fire. That would be just our luck. <laughs> it goes straight into the fire. It's chilly out here. Can we need I? Some, we need some Roddy what are you doing? Okay, so Mama ditched the heart. Kita. The X and the O. Fluffy's now going to the heart. His feelings are hurt. Kenai, come get yours. Look, I got you right here. 
I got you right here, you little love bear. <laughs> I got you right here. Can you wait? Can you give it paw? Wait. We'll update and see how long it takes paw. him to chew it up. Paw. Paw. Down. Nope. Down. I thought I was going to say paw. Stay. What's the temperature right now? 35? <laughs> no, I would say 45. The 45. All right, man. You don't get it yet, actually. Why? We're going to wait. No. He's like, what? Dad, give it to me. All right, here we go. Good boy. That one's kind of bouncy, too. But yeah. it has like that, that little outer cover on it. That's pretty cool. They're like, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I know it is freezing. On a toy. Now that right there is a sight that we don't see that often. I'm going to go throw two of these logs on the fire real quick. Okay. But look, check out Keita. She's getting it on that one. I know, because they usually don't care about stuff like this at all. Fluffy does. Yeah, look at, hey, the, what's her name? Lally, what's her name? Lily the Llama? No. Lily the Llama? If anybody remembers this Llama's name. <laughs> L llama, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. But I loved her. Well, he was dragging it around today and it was soaking wet. I don't know. Oh, he dipped it in the water. <clears throat> He's been doing that lately. He's been... Drop his toys in the water? Yeah. His dad used to do the same thing. Bones, any, like bones, toys, any of that stuff. His dad would go drop it in his food bowl or water bowl. He just liking it. You like it? You want me to throw it again for you? Oh, what was that? You lay on the toy? Hey, stay. Nope. Come here. Come back. Come back. Come back. Stay. You guys are going to get into it if I throw this toy, huh? Mm-hmm. see it in your eyes. Okay, go. Oh! <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just throw it back. Fluffy got it for me. What are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? The heart? Um, we will have a video out. We'll make a video on how we're preparing for the pup. We're going to do a whole video. Yep, we're going to do a video. Um, things you need to know before bringing a puppy home. We're going to do that video. That is in the plans. Sorry if I'm shaking. It's cold out here. Are you putting wood on that fire? Oh, yep. I'm going to put wood on Hey, there. look at this Come one. Here. She thinks Mama. she's sneaky. Mama. Kita. Sherry asked, how do we stop the dogs from, or how do you stop dogs from jumping on people? Uh, well. Well, obviously, Fluff is still learning. <laughs> the thing is, is, it just takes a lot of. Those two. Kenai takes the longest piece ever. He, he it does. It takes a lot of calm, constant training and explaining to them, hey, that behavior is not okay. That's why I'm shutting it down. Please stop. I'm not okay with that. So like Fluffy will jump and get excited. I mean, to be fair, we haven't really spent a whole lot of time with him today. So as soon as we get home from, I mean, I still work today and everything. Sam came home and pretty much slept because she flew all through the night and couldn't sleep. So the dogs just kind of did their own thing all day. They get really excited. They get really energetic. And Fluffy's still a puppy. He just really wants to play. Look at him over there. I don't know if they can hear him growling, but, but he's... Uh, <laughs> Got a squeaker. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know it had a squeaker either, but that that toy is peace now. Now that's got a squeaker. Or now that he knows it has a squeaker. Thank you, Nay. He loves them. I don't know if you guys can hear him growling, but he's such a puppy. He's a really big puppy. This one. He thinks he's a lap dog. Kenai will sit on me all the time. The squeaker may perish, right? This waiting on our TV show. <laughs> I love that. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how long have we had each of them? So, uh, Fluffy is two. two. He was born here in the house. Yes, and then Mama Kita, she's four. Four. 
and that's Fluffy's mom. And then Kenai is six. Kenai is six. We've and had him since he was six, six months. months. Yeah, six months old. He was a rescue, and he was just like Lexi when we got him, yep. or when Colin got him. <clears throat> he was aggressive. He didn't know. He wasn't socialized. Nothing. But now he's the most friendly one. Yep, and we got him and brought him home and uh, put him in with Junior. <laughs> I kid you not. That was... You never know. You never know how a dog's going to react. Junior was a little older than, uh, than Kenai, and so he was well-balanced. Kind of like Kenai is now. He wants to play with everybody, but he's very well-balanced. But you throw a puppy in with a dog that's 150 pounds, and you never really know what you're gonna get. So that one was kind of fun. Uh, Kenai never really showed a lot of aggression to Junior. Junior would like kind of punk him out though, like box him out when they were eating, <clears throat> or, like, take his bone and things like that. But, uh, I mean, I think that was kind of just Junior showing that he was the alpha of the house. So how we tell him apart is Kenai has a tail. Yep. And then a Fluffy is huge. He's the big boy. He's it, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to <clears throat> see. It is hard to see, but Fluffy, he's yeah. he weighs the same as me, and his head is huge. Yeah, Kenai got the tail. Fluffy, he just has, he's huge. And then Mama, she's the queen. She's beautiful. Yeah. It's hard for people to tell them apart, but... She is, but, I mean, the answer, the, the way that I answer that to everybody is, like, you can tell your kids apart, you can tell your friends apart, you can tell your co-workers apart how you get to know them. If you saw 500 people in a field you wouldn't recognize anybody unless you already knew them. That's how we notice the dogs. Hey, Kevin. Kevin's the neighbor. He's going out to feed his cows right now. Come on, mama. Fluffy is the father. Fluffy is the father. So Fluffy. we're grandparents? We are. <laughs> we're grandparents. At 24. <laughs> Old grandparents. Oh, man. Do you want to cook their food? Yeah, let's do it, because it's going to get dark soon. Right Did you put wood on the fire? Huh? Did you put wood on the fire? Colin's really good at doing a million things and then forgetting. <laughs> what do you think, Kenai? Okay, we'll hurry and go through the rest of the Kenai. Okay, so being a sponsor of BarkBox and Super Chewer BarkBox now, we can get you guys deals on them. So as deals come out, we will release them to you guys. Um, and we'll mention them in our videos. Did come with two bags of doggy treats. It looks like these are little like cookie treats they with hearts, hearts in, in them, them. Cute. so yeah this this box is all based around love and then some jerky sticks as well as two chewer sticks how cool would that be if we had a roddy box oh, that would be sweet that would be so like cool rottweiler specific box that'd be cool Toys based off of what our rottweiler because a lot of the toys have. don't hold up to big dogs yeah. at all agreed agreed they came with two chew sticks in there, so uh, we're gonna have to figure out. We do actually have some of our own chew sticks upstairs, so we'll be able to hand those out. Yes. Anyway, and then they sent out a free Yeti dog box, and I don't have, I'm gonna see if I can do this with my finger. Um, uh, did we know Lexi was in heat? No, and not even the vet knew, she, they didn't even know she was in heat either, so. And yeah, that was <clears> that we checked out. Oh, look. We do need horses, Sherry, thank you. Look, I'm trying to box. convince him that we need a horse. Came with a little box that says, Welcome to Super Chewer. Tough is just the beginning. What the? Fluffy is getting it over there. Stella said that we need horses too. I Super agree. Super Chewer is up to the challenge. The good news is we're just like your dog. We come in all sizes. We don't give up. We keep improving. Every monthly delivery includes two tough toys for tough dogs, two bags of meaty treats, and two choy toys. What's in the next box? We'll email you when it ships, always in the middle of every month, typically around, arrives around the 16th to the 22nd. And then again, just 100% satisfaction guaranteed. And then it kind of shows the types of toys that he will send, which I'm excited. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited so to get cute. these kinds of toys. I'm just... I'm super excited Aww. to be a part of the Bark, Bark Box team, and uh, all the toys are made yes. in the USA. And thank you. Um, what? For this. Oh, oh, Bark Box. Yes, yeah. thank you again. And then just right here down in the bottom, again, it guarantees, again, 100% happiness. I think that's a pretty big deal to them. I mean, that's the third time that they've mentioned it. And then down in the bottom, it shows a couple tough chewers. You've got a Doberman here, and then what is that, St. Bernard? 
I have no idea. I believe that's a St. Bernard, but if I'm wrong, I don't know. I'm, I know Rob Wilders, that's about it. But you get more <laughs> toys like this, and you can even ask for less nylon toys or more rubber toys. You can kind of customize your own box. Oh, that's cool. And they'll ask you for feedback, too. They'll ask if your dog liked it. If not, they'll try something different. So anyway, super cool here. And then right here down in the bottom just shows you kind of the toy with the squeaker, and it gives you a that's little... It's a Newfoundland. It. It's pretty cool. Newfoundland? Everybody always talks about those. It is. Uh, yep. That's... Look at him. Look at this one. Oh, you moved. You all worn out now, bud? Okay. No, he loves it. So, anyway, last part of Where's the Where's Kenai? Box. Kenai. Kenai's right here. Oh. Of course, Kenai's with Dad. So, real quick, the last thing that they sent, this one was the special that they got us. Oh, my And it gosh. is a Yeti Bark Box dog bull. <laughs> that is That's actually cool. pretty cool. Um, I thought it would have a lid, but it doesn't. It has a little non-slip... Uh, uh, textured, like a kind of like a rubber nylon, not not rubber nylon, a uh, rubber silicone, a silicone or rubber base here, so it won't slide around, and that is just really super cute. It's got the Yeti logo right here on the back, and then the Bark That's cool. logo on the front, so pretty cool here, and then right here it says Built for the Wild. Pretty sweet. You two are so amazing and sweet. Love watching your show. Thank you guys. We Thank hit you. 20k today. <laughs> we hit 20k today, six months ago. Cheers. I sent us, or yeah, no, the other day, yesterday, I sent a Snapchat, Snapchat screenshot to call in, and it yep. was us hitting a thousand. Yep, and that was six months ago. Felt. Six months. That's so crazy. Six yeah. months and a couple days. Thank you again, BarkBox, for sending this out to us. We appreciate you guys. And again, links will be down in the description below. I don't, I think our deal just ended yesterday at midnight for the free double your box, but I'll definitely log on and see if we have a new updated code to give you guys a special box. But uh, anyway, thank you again, Super Chewer and BarkBox for sending this out. Let's Real go over quick. food. Real quick, oh yeah real quick we have a couple things we have we so many mention. things today uh yep we did get the dogs just a ton of stuff for this we did get a new hemp oil which is a cbd oil for stress anxiety um joints mm -hmm. and really just overall health it really calms down their temperament it helps them when we leave the house and we go to work it helps them not be as stressed out it really calms them down and anytime there's any inflammation from them anytime that they have any swelling or you know like if I don't know if it'd be like spraining an ankle, but like it's if inflammation. They, if they hurt any inflammation, it will help reduce that. On the back, it has the directions, tells you exactly how much to give to your dogs, cats, birds, or whatever. Shows you the um, ingredients on the other side. And again, I'll put the links down in the description for these. We have some treats. We will link everything. We will link everything. Give me 24 hours and I'll have everything on this video. So check back if you're interested in anything. And then Jerry and Ellen, some of our biggest supporters. Oh my heck, they have been so amazing. They have been great. They got Sam a birthday gift. They got the dog some baked treats that we're going to get to them. Uh, they also got them some other treats or some other toys in here. We got a squeaker toy here with the stuffing list toy. They got this for Fluffy. They're getting so spoiled by them. Just, yeah. We really, Everybody. We are. There's so many people sending us things for the dogs. Um, if you are interested in sending anything specifically to the dogs, you can reach out to us at the Roddy Channel at gmail.com. I'll put the uh, I'll put the email down in the description as well. But that kind of covers it up for the stuff that we got. Um, and then we got. I brought him them stuff. stuff from Hawaii. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, they were they fell down. So right here, if you want to explain these. I was gonna get them. Um, so I was gonna get them. Um, I went to the swamp meet, and it's huge down in Hawaii. Like it's huge, and they had the cutest collars, and they were like little Hawaiian collars. But I'm like, they're not gonna use them, but they're so cute. And so I decided to just get them dog treats instead some from treats. Hawaii. So some chicken chips, kan kanaka? Is that how you say? I have no idea. Kanaka? Maybe maybe somebody will be able to tell us how show us how to pronounce it so that we can pronounce it right. I'm not trying to. Uh, There's little chicken to chips. Say anything wrong, but. Yeah, they are just like little some some biscuits there, but anyway, that's kind of all we have for treats for them. We'll go ahead and fire up the grill real fast so it can kind of warm up, and then we'll show you guys what we got for them today. Stella, Hawaii was beautiful. It was so pretty. I've been there a few times. I have family there, so but it's always I hate the flight. I don't. It's I hate flying over the water that long. How long have we been together? Uh, Forever. Forever. <laughs> We're brother and sister. <laughs> We're cousins. <laughs> We're brothers, sisters, cousins. We've been dating for six, seven months. I don't even know. We've been dating for a little while. We've been friends for a really long time. 
but it just took us a while to like, I don't know. That toy is dirty already. He's beating that thing up. See mama and Kine, they like it for a minute and that's it. Sorry, I'm shaking, I'm freezing, I am tired. What do you need? Do you need gloves? Do you need a jacket? I don't know, it's just cold. Can me to grab you my heated jacket? No. I'll be all right, thank you though. Hey, go ahead and let that get warmed up a little bit. We are gonna be barbecuing for ourselves after, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what we have in store for the dogs today. We're gonna have to actually order two more of these. I know, We're gonna have to get actually sandwich. three more. <laughs> when are we getting the new pup? We're gonna have to get three more of these now. Thank you for correcting me. Um, the, uh, let's see, we're on week six today. No, five? I don't know. Yep. We are on week five today. So we have two to three more weeks. I'm gonna prefer <laughs> three weeks. Three weeks just so that I can stay with his brother, um, stay with Lexi, get a little socialized. Socialization is really not a problem that I worry about here. He's going to go everywhere with us. Um, I'm going to do a tip on how to, or a video on how to socialize with a Rottweiler puppy. Um, and really, really, these tips are going to be for any puppy. But I'm going to give you a little extra tips for a special, aggressive, bully breed that needs a little extra attention. So you can use this on any little dog, any any dog, and it'll work within, within, take that with a grain of salt. It'll work for most dogs. Most dogs, we'll see. Okay, with that being said, I'll show you guys what we have for them. Right here in this bowl, we have beef liver. And there's three chunks that we already portioned out. There's two chicken feet for each dog here so that they can get their calcium, they can get their necessary organs. Right here, Sam has cooked us up some sweet potato slices for the dogs to have as part of their vegetables. Right here, we have eggs for protein and calcium. Right here, we have the steaks. So I guess actually we didn't spend quite that much because I did pull my own steak out of here and I replaced it with these pig feet that we're gonna give them to chew on afterwards. These dogs are so spoiled, it's not even funny. No, you for real. Spoiled. You are spoiled. Fluffy doesn't even care right now. He's focused. He doesn't on know how time. good he has it at all. <laughs> he loves that. He still is just over there getting it with that toy. I can't wait till the yard comes back in. All beautiful. I know. We the front looks good. Today. He doesn't know which one to play. He has all three. Like, he has all three toys. He will play all day by himself. You got all the toys? You got all of them? I think he likes that one. That's the one he's been carrying around the time. Hi, Mama. What do you think? You look pretty with your new chain. Yes, you do. You're filthy. You got all the toys? Hey. I'll be right back real quick. Okay. You got all the toys, huh? I need something to push a hole down in the Can I? Oh, I don't have enough hands to pet all of them. Now we're getting another one. Oh, can I? Hi, Mama. Uh oh, she's gonna swoop one. You know he's mad. I went to Honolulu. I've never been to any of the other islands because I've all my family's on Honolulu. He will play all day. He is a soccer star. <laughs> These two are just needy. Hi, Kenai. Especially Kenai. Hi, Kenai. He's so lovey. Get it, Mama. Get it. 
Giv det. Giv det tror jeg, mamma. Hej. Ready? Ready? Gå giv det. Bring it here. Bring it here. They hear dad with their food bowls. Oh, there they go. See, a lot of people say they love Maui. I know they heard you. I think they're hungry. I love Hawaii, but I don't think I could ever live there. I think having a house there and vacation, but I don't know. I don't know about living there. Could you, babe? Nope. I could have a house there, but I could not live there. There's just not enough of what we do. Yeah. And it's expensive. Oh my gosh, for my sister pays $2,900 for a two bedroom in an office. It's so crazy. I mean, maybe that's normal. I don't know. Have they ever escaped? Island fever is scary. Yeah, I've heard a lot about island fever. Have they ever escaped? Yes. <laughs> Fluffy is an escape artist and Kenai follows. Mama, she is totally oh, fine. You can leave the gate open and she'll stay, but... Fluffy? Some pig feet here to chew on. Ew. Are you trying to swallow that? Come here. I think Fluffy realizes this is not something to swallow. Nope. Come here. Come here. Hey. Mama, go get yours. Still goose? Come here. Come here. Don't swallow that. Unless you chew it all the way up. Don't swallow it. I'm gonna go get me another jacket. Okay. I'm freezing. It depends on uh, when you say what's healthy for them to eat or not. There's a lot of things that can be bad for them in certain doses, and there's a lot of things that can be really good for them in certain doses. Right now they're just going ahead and tearing up these pig feet. Kenai, what you got there? Besides a sweet gold chain. Kita is over here attacking hers. Pretty much every winter out here with the dogs, our, our lawn kind of dies and, and gets beat up. But we're bringing it back a little bit. This part of the yard is more in the sun. And so that's why it's coming back more green. And I just got some seed fix and soil compost to fix all this. And then right here, the grass died last year. So I'm going to pull all that, till it up, redo that over there. You over here jam into that pig foot? They said that no pups before for that question that just popped up. Got some birds out here chilling in the yard. I need to trim this tree up. It's getting to be ugly. Well, at least you chewed it up and swallowed it instead of just swallowing it. Got the grill warming up over here. We got their bowls over here. Their steaks right here. So what we are going to do with the steak is we are going to push holes in them not really holes but uh we're gonna go ahead get these separated here and we are gonna make indents in them and we're gonna cut right here we're gonna slit it up push it out of the way this i can do this kind of as soon as sam gets back i can cut a hole in here and use this to push as you can see right here I'll kind of show you what we're what we're planning so we're gonna make an indent like that we're gonna set them on the top rack we're gonna put eggs in there and we're gonna do steak and eggs for the dogs you excited fluff you excited what do you say you excited should we go check on the fire real fast while mom's in the house 
Kenai boy. Fluffy destroyed that pig foot. Mama's still chewing it up, breaking it down. Go ahead and get some. This is all scrap wood from the demolition that I've been doing back here. So we're just kind of burning off all of our wood. Neighbors are over here. Big chilling. Well, that didn't really work. What's up, Sammy? I'm, yep, I was waiting for you because I'm going to cut those little holes into the steak for the eggs. All right. Yeah, nice. Fire? Yeah, I'm not acclimated. <laughs> acclimated? Yeah, acclimated. Acclimated. Trash. Trash. Ooh, look at Sammy Sam. She's so cute. Look at this girl. Mmm. Mama's still getting her pig foot. Fluffy's is gone. Looks like Keen Eyes is gone. This thing's a little bit chewed up. <coughs> chewed up. Right there in the foot. Yep, so he ripped that outside, but, but you know then there's funny? the squeaker inside. It's like, even if this was chewed off, Fluffy would prefer to chew, like, carry on the little foot all day. Yep. He'll carry around the foot all day. He will. Like He'll that. take that little tiny foot. He's so quick. We need to put something right there. We need to move the grill over there. Yeah. We need to put a hot tub right here. Ooh, I see right there. Let me take it. This? Thank you. Okay, so hurry and show you guys here exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff and set it. I'm gonna put all this stuff in this bag so that we can just take it in the house. These obviously will go with their food. These are our food additives for hips, joints, anything that uh, a bigger dog will typically struggle with. So hip, joint, heart, um, organs, all that stuff. It's just kind of like an extra booster for their, for their healthy meal and their food. Again, thank you guys for anybody who helped send stuff in for the dog celebration. BarkBox again, Jerry and Ellen. Uh, Sam bringing them uh, their stuff back and then also Buster's oil for sending us this calming and joint support Kind of like it's it's a CBD oil. It's pretty much exactly what it is But just boxed and labeled differently than the previous stuff that we've used So we're gonna try this stuff out and then again the gold chains. Thank you again Hayden for giving us that idea Go ahead and Someone got a in. new grill kit when I was gone <laughs> He went on a shopping spree <laughs> I got myself a new grill kit, not just for here, but to take camping when we go out. So, yes, I did. I spoiled myself a little bit. Sam also got spoiled for her birthday just a little I bit. I did. Hey, my birthday was amazing. That's what we like to hear. Yes. A I cat person. Think. I've always wanted a hairless cat. A sphinx? What's it called? A hairless cat. But what's the... The one... I think the one you're talking about is like the more exotic one you can uh, feed them like goldfish and they're taller they have the longer uh, yeah those ones are uh, crazy did you oh, they have the little munchkin ones that are just fuzzy and they stay little forever what was that rottweiler and panther thing oh that, that was, was cute that. i thought you were talking about um that rottweiler that got lost around us the other day and it was like a curly haired yeah, rottweiler yeah, was it was so cute it was it was it was cool but it was so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut and make like a little incision here so that I can get the meat to push out of the way. How long do you cook these for since we usually do raw? We're just going to cook the egg just a little bit and uh, and really that's that's all we're going for. <laughs> Some race car drivers out here. So yeah, we're going to dice this up a little bit so that we can push it to the side. And then we're going to set our egg right in there and we're going to make kind of like a hole in one, which is what you call it for like a burger. Yes, Luna. That's the panther on, um, it's a, we saw it on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, it's the, um, so cool. panther and the Rottweiler and they're best friends. It's yeah, so cool. It's so cool. It's yeah, so cool. It's, we saw it on TikTok. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this to make our perfect size for our egg. Go ahead and push that out of the way. Wiggling the table a little bit, too much, too much strength. Okay. Look at he lost his toy. Get it, bud. There it is. All righty. 
So we'll go ahead, mash those down just a little bit more. He's so funny. That right there is one of the keys to not having an aggressive bully breed dog is wear them Like out. he's putting it in his water. Yep. He puts them in the water. Weird. And then he'll dunk his whole head in it to get it out. Oh, you drop it. <sighs> he loves water. Like we'll go swimming at the lake. Loves it. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, you got it! Nice, buddy. Good job. It's like dunking for apples, right? <laughs> Ooh. Right here, going to go ahead and give these guys... This is a little bit bigger bottle than we're used to. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we're giving them half a milliliter. So right there. Gonna drop that in each one of the dog bowls. I mean, you can give them a little more if you'd like. Where we give it to them so often, I like to just give it to them in kind of, kind of like micro doses, and give them a little bit every day. But if you're, you know, getting ready to leave, say like all day, you could give it to them in the morning with their food, and you could give them a little extra dose if if you're trying to deal with separation anxiety, or if you have a dog that is getting older and you can really tell their joints are starting to hurt them, what this will do is pretty much like lube it up. So um, it, it really just adds and reduces that inflammation and gives them a lot better joint mobility. So super awesome. Super we did awesome. get gold chains for the dogs. We will link them after, but don't they look so pretty? They did. Check this out. Let's set it on top. There it is. Boom. They're just more for show, Big not so much chain. for... Yeah, more for hanging out around the house, kind of just taking pictures with and really just looking cute. Like if, if we we're going to go, you know, for a drive or something, we throw them on them. But I mean, if we were going for a walk, I don't know if I would really trust this chain. I really trust our chain collars that we make here in house. If you haven't seen that video, again, I'll drop it down on there. But uh, let's go ahead and get these steaks on the grill because we're going to run out of sunlight here and we want to make sure you guys get to see the dogs eat. You want to get this out of here? He's like, no. Look, he brought in all the water. And I know. It's all muddy and stuff. You have to go back and watch that. It's funny. Okay. They're so cute. I think they're hungry. Go ahead and get these on here. I'm so I'm so excited about this. I'm so we're gonna be grilling up a lot. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be grilling up a lot this year. Go ahead and get these steaks on there. Again, these steaks were $11 a pound, and they, there was four of them, and the thing was $40. So they're pretty much all just shy of a pound. So we're going to say each dog is, tonight is going to get their own one-pound steak. They are going to get some veggies as well, and they are going to get eggs, chicken feet, and beef liver. So we're going to go ahead and set these on here up top. Twenty K. That's so crazy. Twenty thousand subscribers. I can't wait for summer and it's warm. We can do this all the time. Yep. It's still it's definitely, definitely not summer out here, but we are forcing it like it is. For sure. So go ahead, crack these eggs now. Okay, so um Question Impossible video idea. If you're a vegetarian, no. there goes that one. We lost the egg. Can you own a Rottweiler, and how do you meal prep and feed them properly then? CK, um, I'm pretty much vegetarian. I eat more plant-based, but I think dogs should always, dogs should always be on a meat diet. Yeah. You shouldn't ever, will you, sorry babe, will you explain? Yeah, so um, the way that a dog is built is they come from a, we need another egg. Okay. Should I run and go grab that or should I explain Here, I will. Real quick? Okay, I'll hurry and explain this real quick. So the way that a dog is um, gen genetically set up is kind of like a wolf, okay? I believe personally that they are omnivores. I believe that they need meat and vegetables to have a properly balanced diet and get everything that they need they need a mixture of meat, vegetables, um, bones, 
They need, they need so many different things in their diet that not just dog food will do it. That's why we do kibble in the morning. We do raw food at night. But I believe that, come here. Let's see, come here. Come here. Can you show them your teeth? Can you show them your teeth? I believe that these, all right, Fluffy will do it. Come here, come here, bud. I believe that these teeth right here up in the front, come here. This is so hard to do with one hand. I believe that those teeth right there that you just saw are for chewing up meat. I believe that they are made for ripping up that meat that they need. And thank you so much. Oh, let me switch that. So I believe that a dog needs a balance of everything. If you guys' dogs have ever ate like a, excuse me, watch out. Watch out. He's still going. If your dogs have ever ate uh, like grass in front of you or any weeds or anything like that, I think what they're telling you is that they need a little bit more balance. And the way to do that is by adding in those veggies and things that they need. So if you look at a full pedigree chart for raw feeding, it'll have liver, it'll have other organs as well. It'll have vegetables, it needs calcium, it needs meat. There's so many things that go into it. And that's why people recommend not raw feeding because some people don't do it correctly and it actually hurts the dog instead of helping them. So we're gonna go ahead and push these just one more time a little deeper so we don't lose another egg. He found his donut too. Like now he has his donut. I'm surprised those haven't been chewed up. Those have been a good toy. He loves those donuts. All right, let's not lose this one. Let's see it. Dude, oh! That's gonna be hard to do. As long as we can get it to stay. <laughs> no! We're losing some of it. I'm gonna set that right there to balance that out. Why grill? Did you already answer that? Yeah, we're just gonna cook up the eggs just a little bit, kinda just to get do the something feel, different. To get the feel of a barbecue. We're not really cooking anything, but uh, we're gonna sear the one side and just get the egg to kind of warm up a little bit. So that it's like a traditional human meal. Like that one right there. That's exactly what I was going for, right? <laughs> Do something different for um, for you guys. Yep, and we were already going to barbecue. I had planned to barbecue when Sam got home. So yep, we'll just hold that right on there. And now I'm going to have to clean the grill later. So don't forget to smash the like button. <laughs> if you guys enjoy barbecuing with us. And I don't have anything but dog tongues to clean my fingers off. Don't hate. These are my dishwashers right here. Not really. We still wash everything, but... Do you recommend a meat diet while they're puppies? Um, so we like to do a full raw food diet. Well, not full. 50-50. So we do our kibble in the morning and then we do raw food at night. But I don't like to give them the full chicken thighs, chicken drums, all that stuff until... Oh, oh. All right, hold on. Can't leave stuff sitting under me, I'll trip on it. So we're gonna hurry and close this so that those can cook just a little bit and then we'll give them to them. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, so you don't wanna give them those full size bones yet because they're not big enough, okay? So the reason why a lot of people will be like, oh, I've never given my dog uh, a full chicken before. Well, these guys could eat a full chicken bone and everything because of their size. They can break down the bones, keep the meat around it, swallow it, and the meat actually protects the bone from scratching any of their internal organs until their stomach acid digests it. So dogs are set up to digest bones, calcium. They literally will eat a whole animal, like everything, the head and everything, if, if you give them enough time. So they know what they're supposed to do. Mama's taking a nap. They know what they're supposed to do. Oh, she moved. <laughs> she's getting a little tired so anyway uh that's uh that's why i believe that you don't go full size bones and everything until they're older you can give them smaller stuff like chicken feet like a puppy can eat chicken feet but the reason why we don't just throw them in and mix them with the other dogs is because there's bones that are a little too big for them at that age yeah watch out they're all in here big nap big nap all right we're gonna go ahead and give each dog two slices of sweet potatoes these are about halfway cooked, just, yeah. just to get some of, so they're not hard. Like, you know, a potato's hard. When you warm it up, you can mash it, you can make it soft, things like that. So that's what we do for the dogs, just so that they don't have a hard potato to chew. Not only that, but to digest. Do you want to put these in there? Huh? No. How are they looking? Oh, yep, so we can put these over here. 
Let's grab this. We're going to go ahead and throw the liver for the organs in each one. <laughs> He's so funny. I love him. And then we're going to go ahead and throw our little chicken feet in there. Oh, that looks so weird. Uh, oh. Haha. -ha. Two in each one. Big meal tonight. Big meal. No fluff. What do you think? All right, should we go ahead and pull the steak off? Yeah, I think they're excited. They can smell it, huh, Kenai? All right, let's see what we got here. Yep, that's pretty much, that right there is exactly what I was going for. These, these didn't really do as good as I I know, there. Colin's trying to gross out Sam. Yes, I don't do well with the raw food. <laughs> she makes me touch everything, but that's fine. Like. You know, like she said, she is 100, I mean, not 100%. She'll, she'll eat meat and try mine and stuff like that. But she's more a vegetable person. She's a green thumb, whatever you call them. But she's not like full vegetarian, but she understands why the dogs benefit from the meal that they do. And like all this, it, like not eating this isn't going to stop people from putting it on the shelves. Like if we don't eat it, it's just going to go bad. So why not at least put it to use and benefit three healthy dogs from it? So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. Should we just give them to them like this whole? <laughs> Let's they do it. Rip them up. I think they would just rip these things up. How much do we uh, spend a month for raw food? Uh, what did we decide? It's about Two? 200 bucks for three? Yeah. About 200 bucks for three dogs. I mean, not feeding them this. Like, this is a special. Oh, yeah. this, this right here but... costs $40 for one meal. <laughs> yeah. $40 just for the steaks. And then we've got sweet potatoes, which are a couple bucks. And then we've got chicken feet, which for a pound were $250. And then a couple eggs, which were donated by one of Sam's friends, while yeah. we are getting our chickens raised up to go ahead and get them. But I think I'm going to, should I just cut them in half? I'd do whatever you want. We'll cut them in half. So I'll go ahead and pull off one at a time real quick. Don't lose it. Don't lose the egg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nothing like a new drill set. I'll tell you what. Tell you what, tell you what. Ooh. We're gonna go ahead and dump that egg in there. So the eggs didn't really cook like I wanted them to, but oh well, whatever. It's more for the fun, for the experience, for the dogs. Steak and eggs. See, now it's not as pretty. Oh well. Which is fine. I mean, I'm sure they'll like it. It's gonna get torn up anyway. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. She's just chilling. She's These two, though. Very pretty. I'm outnumbered in boys now. You think, get out of Four the boys and two girls. Can we <sighs> appreciate this one right here real quick for how pretty it turned out? Well, now the eggshell moved. That one does look pretty. That one does look good. We're going to go ahead and destroy the looks of this one by chopping it right down the middle. Are we feeding them out here? Uh, do you want to? Yeah. No, I don't mind. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook so that we can cook our food right after. We do have uh, three extra slices of sweet potatoes, so we might as well just throw them yeah. in for each one. And that right there, my friend, is what a $15 dog meal looks like. $15 each meal. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button to support. 20K. 20K. We hit 20K. 20K. How many likes are we currently at? 59. 59. Can we hurry and get to 65 so they can feed these guys? We'll hurry and get to 65 There's likes 60. and we'll feed these guys. Now we're at 60. We do give the shells. We do give the shells, yep. Yeah. You can, um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can um, dry them. 
yep. in the oven and then yep. make them into a powder. Yep. We have some. We're going to do it. Yep. Should we do a video on it? We can. We we'll can add it to one of our videos. Throw it in yeah. At least one of the videos, whether we do like a feeding at the end of them or something like that. But yeah, pretty much what you do is you lay all the empty shells out on a tray, um, a baking tray, baking sheet, cookie pan, whatever. You throw them in, you bake them for about five to 10 minutes, and then you can throw them in a blender and you can make it a powder and you can add it to their food as well. And then you get that concentrated calcium. But yeah, we do give ours full shells. Again, the size really helps of the dogs, um, as well as eating it with a well-balanced meal. Their stomach can really digest it properly. Do we have 65 likes yet? 70, yes. 70. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what do you say we eat? They're like, dude, we're hungry. Just give it to us. All right. Here we go. Out of the kitchen. Out of the kitchen. Is it worked out here? Out of the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know if they out know where the to go. <laughs> out of the kitchen. Over here. He is like. This is new. Okay, stay. Stay. I'm going to have you take the phone when they're eating because I'm stay. freezing. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, come on. Kita goes straight for the big old piece of meat and inhales it. Kenai, it looks like I didn't cut his all the way. He swallowed his first piece and now he's going for his second one. That's a big bite. That is a big bite. And Fluffy already inhaled his steak and now he's going for the chicken feet it looks like. Yep, chicken feet it is. Kita is almost done. Looks like she's got a chicken foot there and some beef liver. And Kina is just about done. Those beautiful gold collars, look at that. Man, that's a tasty meal right there. I mean, she's eating it all. She is. Maybe going around the eggshells. <laughs> Fluffy's already done. What do we expect? Now he's going to wait for one of them to finish. He's going to go lick their bowl, and then they'll go lick his bowl. Well, Kita's the pickiest, and so she doesn't eat everything. That's true. So she's eating it. Look at Fluffy he's trying to get in there on key nights. He's like, hey, man, I'm still hungry if you need to give any of that up. So she left her she left her eggshell. Mm -hmm. Come here. Or not. Key takes that one. Fluffy takes that one. Now ta or Kita takes Fluffy's. Fluffy takes key nights. Key takes Kita's. Typical. No salmon oil today. We're actually waiting on our order of salmon oil because we just ran out. They had plenty of nutrients. They did have plenty of nutrients. Plenty of nutrients. Hi, Mama. How was your food? How was your food, beautiful girl? All righty. That kind of wraps up dinner time. <laughs> they do eat their food super fast. All of that for like 30 seconds. Right? All that food prep, all that money for a 30-second meal. All righty, guys. Anyway, thank you so much. Here, we'll get this. Thank you guys so much for supporting and loving the Roddy channel. Thank you guys again for all the donations. Thank you guys for the support that you guys have offered to us. Sam and I are going to go have our own little date night and enjoy our own dinner now. Thank you guys again for joining the live tonight to celebrate 20K. The next time that we make a celebration, what should we do it at? 25? Give us ideas. 30? Give us ideas. What do you guys want to see on celebrations like this and maybe like oh we can do a picnic hey we should we go up in the mountains and like take food with us for them and feed them up in the mountains that would be cool we could we could take our new yeti bowls and keep their food actually even cold that would be cool or warm <laughs> we to feed them. okay anyways thank you guys again from the bottom of our hearts we appreciate you and love every single one of you guys and we will see you on the next video bye guys love you guys